Hello everyone, how are you? Today I want to share uh, some scriptures from Bhagavad Gita uh, according to Hindu religion. Uh, Bhagavad Gita is an epic scriptures that has the answer to all the problems. Some people uh, consider it, uh, it is a spiritual dictionary. Um, they say it is a Mahatma Gandhi considered as a spiritual dictionary and it was a book of inspiration for many leaders of the independence movement. Uh, take a look at some of uh, this Bhagavad Gita quotes we can use to bring our life back on the right track. So I have some uh, scriptures uh, I found in the Google um, I, I am going to share with you. Uh, when a confused Arjuna turned to his charioter Lord Krishna for advice at the Kurukhetra, Lord Krishna stated some rational philosophical concepts that are relevant even today according to him some hindu so some of the quotes here uh, i'm going to read it uh, i'm going to share with you whatever happened happened for the good the first one whatever is happening is happening for the good whatever will happen will also happen for the good so get over it whatever you are sulking about it forget it second is uh, you have the right to work but never to the foot of work Change is the law of the universe. You can be a millionaire or pauper in an instant. The soul is neither born, this is for, and nor does it die. This is Bhagavad uh, chapter 2 verses 20. They said, For the soul there is neither birth nor death at any time. He has not come into being, does not come into being and will not come into being. He is unborn, eternal, ever existing and primable. He is not slain when the body is slain. Number five, you can you came empty-handed, you will leave empty-handed. You came here empty-handed and you will leave empty-handed. What is yours today belong to someone else yesterday and will belong to someone else tomorrow. So this is Sri Krishna quotation. Number six, and here I found last anger and greed are the three gates to self-destructive hell hell has their gates lust anger and greed seven is man is made by his belief as he believes so he is So you are what you think you are. Your thoughts make and define you. If you think you are a happy person, you become happy. If you let sad thoughts take over your mind, you tend to become a sad person. Eight is when meditation is mustered, the mind is unwavering like the flame of a lamp in a windless place so there is uh, author uh, 
uh, write some note here uh, we consider it, uh, consider meditation is boring who can sit still with their eyes closed and without veiled thoughts but we truly need to take out a few minutes from our busy schedules and sit in dhyana to dhyan to attain inner peace so meditation is required to keep our inner peace especially in this uh, stressful world whether it's a quiet corner of our cozy home or just a scheduled uh, secluded spot in a office closing your eyes and sitting in peace will give you immense peace of mind nine is question number nine there is neither this world nor the world beyond nor happiness for the one who doubts this misunderstanding they confuse you and fog your mind with unclear thoughts so they also bring in disturbances and make us a coward so for for instance if we are in a relationship and if we have doubts about our partner's loyalty and love then you will will never be able to take our relationship further love has no doubts if it does then it's not love number 10 we are kept from our goal not by obstacles but by a clear path to a laser goal dream big is the message here if we are dreaming about buying a house you cannot keep it on hold by dreaming about a motorcycle although small goals are important for getting your ultimate goal will only stunt your growth don't settle for less strive hard to achieve the bigger goals 11 quote uh, a person can rise through the efforts of his own mind or draw himself down in the same manner because each person is his own friend or enemy this is the you are your own best friend if you have a problem only you will have a solution to it and not your friend so i got this beautiful 11 quotation from bhagavad gita as it today is saturday on march 13 my time is the morning 10:14 I wish you everyone all the best. Happy Saturday.